When you understand creed modes, you will see your music and your productivity getting better. In this video, I'm going to explain all the grid modes and some tricks to help you speed up your workflow. My name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to Daily Beats, where I help you master the software so that it's just you and music. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and activate the notifications so that you are up to date with all the videos I publish about music production. When I understood the snap modes, I became more productive with FL Studio. I was able to move notes, audio clips and patterns to the correct position in the project. Sometimes I hear beats that some of you send me and one of the things that I see is that the instruments don't align correctly. Sometimes when we want to add swing or groove to beats, we move the notes around and out of the grid. But if you are starting out, I would recommend first staying within the grid to understand it correctly. When you are more experienced, you can experiment with going out of the grid modes to try things out. There are several snap configurations across FL Studio pages. You have a local snap button on the playlist, piano roll and on the event editor. There is also a global snap panel that sets the snap value when the local snap is set to main. When you change the local snap mode, you will see the grid lines change to display the size of the grid. For example, a whole note is a bar and a quarter note is one beat. This table shows you the snap settings and associated node notation. I will leave this table on the blog post at dailybits.pt that you can find in the description. You can download the image or save the link for future reference. Let's now take a look at the several snap modes in the playlist. The snap options in the playlist are the same for the piano roll and the event editor, so you only need to learn this once and it will translate to the other pages. The first snap mode is main. When you select main, the snap mode of the page is determined by the global snap options. You can find the global snap options in the top toolbar. By selecting a snap mode in the global snap settings, you can see the playlist snap lines change accordingly. A cool trick for the global snap settings is that you can disable the snapping by pressing the backspace key on your typing keyboard. You can see the global snap change from the selected snap mode to none. If you want all your windows to have the same snap mode, then this is a great way of doing it. You set all the local snap modes to main and you will only change the global snap mode. The second snap mode is line. When you select this mode, all the elements in your project will snap to the nearest grid line. This mode is really cool because it will change the resolution of the grid as you zoom in and out in the playlist. At the current zoom values, the snap is set to step, but if I zoom in, I am able to move the patterns to smaller grid size. The line mode will snap to the event to the nearest grid line and this means that if you are closer to the next grid line, the event will be placed there. The third snap mode is cell, which works similar to the line mode, but it always snaps to the start of the grid line. If you are one millimeter away from the next grid line, it does not care and it places the event always at the start of the grid line. The fourth snap mode is known. This snap mode removes all snapping of the events. I use this snap mode a lot when I'm editing vocals because I need a very precise control of the audio clips and I don't want them to snap to the grid. A cool trick to temporarily disable the snap or activate the known mode is to hold the Alt key when dragging events. The following snap modes allow you to set the fractions of a step, a single step, fractions of a beat, a single beat and a single bar. Let me show you the difference between all the snap modes.
As you can see from the example, the step and the one bit divided by four are the same grid size. One bar is equal to four bits and one bit is equal to four steps. Thanks for watching the video until the end. If you learned something with this video, please leave a like and let me know in the comments below what you would like me to talk about next. If you want to support this channel, subscribe and activate the notifications so that you stay up to date with Daily Beats, where I teach you how to master the software so that it's just you and music. Peace.